Oh. Watch out for Duncan Shearer. Tackled by Stephen Tweed. Referee McVicker says a penalty. But the replay shows it was a soft one. However, justice was done when Leighton saved the spot kick. Shearer denied. It was still nil-nil. It was Hibbs who took the lead ten minutes later. Michael O'Neill turning young Hugh Robertson inside out on the wing before crossing for Keith Wright to beat Derek Stilley 1-0 to Hibbs. Leighton and Shearer were in the thick of things again a minute before half-time. The keeper claims he was pushed by the Don striker, allowing Ian Jess to make it 1-1. Scotland's most capped goalkeeper had to be restrained by his old teammate Alec McLeish. When you look at the replay, you realise why he was so unhappy. Clearly a push there on the goalkeeper. But Ian Jess popping up to make it 1-1 at half-time. Controversy then in the first half, and it was to be repeated in the second. Michael O'Neill repeating his first half exploits down the right, causing problems for the Don's defence. But as they stood, looking for offside, Wright headed down to Evans, Evans back to Wright, thank you very much, 2-1 to Hibbs in 53 minutes. Keith Wright's second goal of the night. Within 60 seconds, the Don's replied. A good move down the right, and Joe Miller was there to make it 2-2. But there was more to come, 15 minutes remaining, and the Don still looking for the third goal. The corner kick again proving a problem, McKimmy with a blast, and then it falls to international striker Ian Jess. Great shot and save, Jim Layton again the hero for Hibbs. Ten minutes remaining and a corner at the other end. Stephen Tweed rising above Derek Stilley, Aberdeen two, Hibernian three. Plenty of controversy and five goals in the game, and the Dons still pushing for the equaliser in the dying moments. Wright and McKimmy involved, with the seconds ticking away. Ian Jess on the edge of the box, but Leighton again the equal to the shot. Dundee United hold the upper hand.